Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and of course one of the questions that I get um, from different aspects of the Windows 10 operating system is um, about April 2019 update or version 1903 what is the performance if I compare this to an older version of Windows 10 what is the performance what is the RAM usage is there any difference so you know what Here's the thing, um, you got to be careful with performance issues and especially with memory management because people that come from Windows 7 have a tendency to think that Windows 10 is too big, it's bloated because it uses a lot of memory, when in reality it's not because it's actually bloated, it's actually um, smaller and it's core and it's actually actually performs better at its core than Windows 7 does. And the reason why is because they have a new way of actually managing RAM memory. So that means that it actually uses more RAM simply because it puts more of what it can in RAM memory so that it could be as efficient as it can. You know, RAM is the fastest memory you've got in your PC. Using it means performance. So, in Windows 10, the new way of doing mem memory management actually helps Windows 10 get faster. And actually, in a lot of tests, it performs faster in many ways and, and many tasks than Windows 7 did. So, there is an improvement and there is a much better um, way of dealing with you know software and games. So we're gonna answer a few questions that I have been having from of course uh, my viewers. First about memory. Well memory management is really good in the April 2019 update. They continue tweaking it and it means that you'll have some memory usage um, you know the more RAM you got the more Windows 10 will have a tendency to want to use that RAM to actually perform better. Um, when I compare memory usage of this version and past versions, and I've been looking at this uh, quite often in the past year to see, you know, any differences. Uh, do I um, seem to have more memory usage? It seems to be pretty much the same, which means simply that what you see as memory usage right now is roughly the same thing that was in the October 2018 update and the same thing as the April 2018 update so you shouldn't see much of a difference once again avoid the use of memory managers RAM um, you know there's all sorts of RAM optimizers and stuff like that it's totally useless you're actually slowing down your PC by removing what's in RAM rather than helping it you want your memory you got you know if you got 16 gigs or 32 gigs of RAM you want to use it you don't want to have that empty it what's the point in having 32 gigs if you're using 5% of it all the time that means that you could use so much less RAM and you paid too much money to have too much RAM that's why it you need to understand that the more you use the RAM memory the better it is and I'm not talking about things like you know runaway processes and memory leaks that can uh, some software can have like Google Chrome sometimes does it's really the good usage the usage that Windows 10 itself makes of it and wants to uh, actually uh, perform better thanks to your um, RAM memory for the CPU um, I compare my CPU usage from one version to the next with one simple task that I do and it's uh, streaming live. What happens when I stream live is that the um, program I use actually tells me the CPU load while I'm streaming on YouTube. And that CPU load on YouTube, actually what it does is tell me when I am using my computer with you know an HD camera streaming at the same time, um, web browser open to do things and tasks and you know check the chat room it performs well it performs better actually because of the um, specter and meltdown mitigation that is the red pulling Google fix 
I before that happened, before they actually gave us that fix, my typical output or CPU load when I would do uh, uh, that task would be around 80 to 90 percent, which is quite high and not necessarily what you want because when you get close to the 100 percent speed, that means your PC is really running uh, pretty, pretty, um, you know, uh, it, it really, really is running at its maximum capacity and that's not what you want. Since the Red Bull Infix, when I do the same tasks, of streaming videos, and of course with this 1903 version or the April 2019 version, I get about 60%, 50 to 65% load, which is much more uh, manageable and desirable and uh, shows uh, the overall performance of the PC. So uh, that's, you know, what is pretty cool is the fact that with this usage, you can manage, really manage a, um, a much more difficult task that your PC might actually be almost overwhelmed with you know, usually. So you guys moving from the April 2018 update, for example, to the April 2019 update should see an improvement in performance because you'll have that new red pulling fix which means that your PC typically will be faster um, because of the better management of that, um, you know, Spectre and Meltdown mitigation. Uh, once again, it's a mitigation. And that's very important to understand in the Spectre and Meltdown stuff is that mitigation means it's making it harder for bad guys to exploit it. It's not fixing the problem because it's impossible to fix it. It's at, it's at the core of the CPU. They're only the only thing you can do is find ways to make it more difficult to do anything about it. And uh, so, you know, for the overall performance of the system, it's pretty good. Like I told you, if you've been following me, I've got a slowdown problem at the startup. It might take up to a minute to really have the computer started um, and running really well, which is longer than I used to have. But uh, the performance itself, when I actually use the computer, is quite good. I you know, can't see any slowdown compared to what I was doing before. Everything seems to be pretty fast uh, when I look at what I do. And so this is good. I mean, you're getting a good performance out of your computer. A lot of gamers telling me, oh, any lags, any problems with gaming? That, I'm not a gamer, so I can't really say anything, but I have watched many, many uh, places around the internet, many blogs where people game on Windows PCs. What I seem to see is that the April 2019 update performance for gaming should be pretty much the same that you'll have. They haven't tweaked that much the gaming side. They've tweaked the game, um, the game bar and stuff like that, but um, I'm, I haven't seen really any uh, gaming tweaks that will make gaming faster. So I would say that if you're used to a certain performance in the April 2018 update, for example, you should have pretty much the same performance in the uh, October, uh, sorry, the April 2019 update or 1903. So for gaming, I would guess. You know, some of you are talking that you got some lags on gaming and stuff. It's a very difficult task to really understand if it's Windows or not because on your you know, each machine is specific and, you know, it could be a bad display driver that you have that slows down or lags rather than Windows itself. And uh, depending on, you know, the hardware you've got, sometimes there are things, weird things that happen, weird interactions. Make sure that you update your display adapter to the latest version. That is always what you want, um, you know, NVIDIA and AMD. Uh, and if you have other things like Intel graphics, they update and they issue updates quite regularly. So make sure that you do um, get these updates to um, have it working the best that you can. Uh, remember, the drivers are very, very important for performance and, and stability of your system. So that's pretty much what I have to say on this issue. For the rest, you know, it's as fast. I would say that it's as fast even faster um, than, than, well, faster than the April 2018 update. 
as fast as the October 2018 update, as the uh, October 2018 did get a cumulative update to try to fix that um, specter and meltdown issue. But um, you should see a good performance and a good usage of RAM. And uh, it's not, you know, bigger. It doesn't take more space or isn't uh, slower. Uh, that's for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.